Hello, everybody, and welcome to an all-American episode of Wrestling Man's Wrestling Show, episode number 124. I am your host, Billy Ankovey, on this 4th of July weekend. Today on the show, going to talk about WWE. I'm going to give you my thoughts on CM Punk, uh, Ring of Honor, the Indies, and the NWA. It's really going to be somewhat of a short show this week, so... Um, but we're gonna we're gonna have fun. It's Fourth of July weekend, you know. We're getting ready to celebrate America's birthday tomorrow, and um, why don't I get right into the show with the ratings, the rankings, courtesy Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Go to pwi-online.com for more details. Now, of course, this is the overall top ten rankings. Of course, they just came out today. So here are the the overall top ten. Samoa Joe is at 10, Blue Demon Jr. 9, Christian 8, Austin Aries 7, Tommy Dreamer 6, Jeff Hardy 5, Triple H 4, Kurt Angle 3, CM Punk 2, and Randy Orton is at number 1. Now, in the tag team rankings. Now, this one, this one's a little bit weird, and I'm really not sure why, but, well, here's the rankings anyway. Tayo K and Manaro Suzuki are at 10. Alex Shelley and Chris Haven, 9. Kaylin Croft and Trent Barretta are at 8. Roderick Strong and Eric Stevens, 7. Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards, 6. Rache Brown and Keith Walker, 5. Team 3D, 4. Ted DiBiase Jr. and Cody Rhodes, 3. Robert Roode and James Storm, 2. And the Colognes are ranked number 1 again for some reason when they lost the belts to Edge and Chris Jericho so that really doesn't make any sense okay now um, of course CM Punk was just mentioned a minute or so ago and um, you know I, I read a spoiler for one of the upcoming episodes of Smackdown I think it's tonight or next week one of the two and the person made a very interesting comparison of CM Punk as a heel. And it's a good it's a good compliment. He compared CM Punk as a heel to Buddy Rogers, the original nature boy. And I'll tell you, when you get compared to one of the all time greats, like Buddy Rogers as a heel, that's a hell of a compliment right there. And you know, I've been a fan of CM Punk since '04. That's when I first discovered him, first watched him on tapes and DVDs. And he's always been one of my favorite guys. Always has been, no matter where it is, it'd rather it be in the ring or on the mic or even commentary, when he used to do commentary for Ring of Honor, you know, a couple years ago. But, you know, I, I always knew that CM Punk was going to be big in WWE. I mean, he has the personality, you know, the straight edge lifestyle, all that, you know, to put out there every week. And when he won the title, the world title last year, you know, as a face, I mean, yeah, he won and he got a decent reaction, but, you know, Triple H was WWE champion at the time and, you know, Triple H was at that time probably a little bit higher than CM Punk. Now, with this whole situation of is CM Punk going to go heel or not, straight up, they should, they should pull the trigger. Make CM Punk a heel. I mean, if you've never seen CM Punk as a heel, buy some old Ring of Honor DVDs. Buy some old IWA Mid-South tapes or DVDs. Buy those. Those are classic CM Punk right there. That is classic CM Punk as a heel. Because what the WWE fans are pardon me, the WWE universe is about to see. They're about to see arguably one of the best heels today in the WWE and arguably possibly one of the greatest heels of all time. If you let CM Punk as a heel, I'm telling you, these people, you know, these fans, they're going to want to buy the tickets, buy the pay-per-views just to see CM Punk get his ass beat. Whether it be with Jeff Hardy at the moment or with anybody else, it would 
it would just draw so much money. And that's the only way they're going to draw money is if they make CM Punk a heel. As a face, he's a good face. Don't get me wrong. But as a heel, the it's un you know the sky's the limit. It's just unbelievable. Okay, well with my two cents on that, let's take a look at the WWE rankings for this week, starting off with Raw, Matt Hardy ten, William Regal nine, Cody Rhodes eight, MVP seven, The Miz six, Ted DiBiase Jr. five. Big Show 4, Kofi Kingston 3, John Cena 2, Triple H 1, all following Randy Orton. On SmackDown, R-Truth is at 10, Dolph Ziggler 9, Great Khali 8, John Morrison 7, Sheldon Benjamin 6, Kane 5, Rey Mysterio 4, Chris Jericho 3, Edge 2, and Jeff Hardy 1. All of them are following CM Punk. And finally, in the land of extreme, this was a very interesting week for ECW they got new talent, you know, coming from Florida Championship Wrestling. William Regal at 10, Gregory Helms 9, Sheamus, Sheamus O'Shaughnessy uh, from Florida Championship Wrestling made his debut at 8, Zack Ryder 7, Evan Bourne 6, Finley 5, Mark Henry 4, Jack Swagger 3, Vladimir Kozlov 2, and Christian is at number 1. All of them following Tommy Dreamer. When I come back, uh, Ring of Honor, and I'm going to... I'm going to talk about their TV show, how I think it went. <laughs>